Welcome to The Lake Show, brought to you by the Fort Loudon Lake Association, right here in downtown Knoxville. I'm Angela Howard, and I'm the Executive Director for the Fort Loudon Lake Association. We're a nonprofit environmental organization that keeps our lake clean. And today, I'm very honored to have Kathleen Gibby. She is the Public Affairs Specialist for Parks and Recreation you got of it. the City of Knoxville. Could yeah. it be any longer your title? It actually could. So we can shorten it. She's our own Amy Poehler. Of well, Knoxville. Well, technically my boss, Joe Walsh, is, so. So we got a famous Joe Walsh is now our Amy Poehler. Right, right, right. Wow. Yeah, he got he tired of the road. And retired. Right, and Parks and Rec. Nice and, a, nice and easy, you know. You know, the audience might actually believe that Joe Walsh is our <laughs> leader for Parks and Rec. It's not the actual Joe Walsh from the Eagles, but, but just as cool. And you still have a lot of fun. Right. So Kathleen's here to talk today about the, the city's focus on the, the waterways, because the, we have the, the beautiful greenway that's being developed. Now the focus, it seems to me, is on the blueways. Can you explain some of that and what is a blueway? Sure. Um, well, a blueway is a waterway that is used as transportation, and uh, Knoxville and the East Tennessee area is definitely blessed with uh, the beautiful Tennessee River and Fort Loudoun Lake. And, and um, uh, it's just a beautiful, scenic area that very few areas in the in the country can brag about that we have right here in Knoxville and um, Knoxville Parks and Recreation has several put in and take out places where um, we can um, um, let recreationers enjoy the water. Well yeah let me let the audience know what we mean when we say Fort Loudon Lake. We have an image of the lake and I'm going to talk from that. Um, from the forks of the river which is the e most eastern part of Fort Loudon Lake to the Fort Loudon Dam, which is the most western part of the Fort Loudon Lake, we're actually 52 miles of the Tennessee River. And what we've done as an organization to make it workable is the first three zones start at Forks of the River and go to Alcoa Bridge. And that's really where the city has a focus and a view on. And then we have from the Alcoa Bridge to Choto, we call that zone four, five, and six, and that's actually more county-based. It has six marinas, four parks, and four public access put-ins, like you were saying. And then you flow on down toward the dam, Shoto to the dam, and that's highly residential areas and a lot of lovely development out there. Mm -hmm. So really, we're the beginning of the Tennessee River, and we have this wonderful city and county that feels like they need to be a part of it. What what are they doing? Tell me the focus and, and where are we going from here? Well, I mean, there's so much to do on the river. Um, a lot of our greenways, we've built along our waterways just because, um, for one thing, it's um, areas that are easier to develop um, because they're flatter. Mm -hmm. um, and so they're scenic and, and the greenways also serve as a great um, pollutant barrier and it prevents some um, um, Sorry, help me. But it's an environmental trash, tra yeah. trash from from falling into the river. So, um, right. um, so that's that's the greenways, and so you can just simply view the water, and that's great. But we also have um, put in take out areas where we've got canoers, we've got kayaks. Now paddle boarding has paddle become boarding. very popular. Um, mayor O'Hara, one of her first um, acts when she became mayor was to open up with the Legacy Parks Foundation um, the uh, Outdoor Knoxville Adventure Center, and now you can rent. The equipment from the Outdoor Knoxville Adventure Center right beside Ruth Chris Steakhouse. Right. And you can you can go on the water. PBA was um, um, cooperative enough to open up a put-in takeout right on Volunteer Landing and and now you can go rent um, a kayak, you can rent a paddleboard. They'll teach you how to do it. They have classes and it's a great thing to do. Um, and that's just one location right downtown but all across um, the city limits and the county, our partners, um, Knox County Parks and Recreation have done a great job. Concord Park is probably one of the prettiest parks <clears throat> in the area. Um, my husband proposed to me out at the Cove, out oh, on the point. So. so you really are uh, tied to the water. I really are you a am. paddler? Yes, I do paddle um, and I'm lucky enough to get to work for a department that has its own canoe tour program. Um, was a, a big part of helping our um, um, IAMS Nature Center partners um, partner with our aquatic staff and they do canoe tours from the Holston River Park and they put in the Holston River which is a nice way to ease into it. They um, teach beginners. Um, the only requirement they have is that you actually can be able to swim. Yeah, that would be a, a good requirement. Right, we do provide life vests and everything but they do prefer that everyone be able to swim and we have lifeguards who go on every tour 
in kayaks so they can go and help someone if people fall over. That's very, very rare. Mm -hmm. Rarely happens. But they'll give a, a quick lesson on canoeing and you put in and the Holston River is a great river to start out at because it's so slow and um, pretty lazy um, when they put in. And then you come out um, at the forks and and you go on and we take out at the um, Nemec Corridor. Mm -hmm. Now they have started longer paddles now where you start out at Seven Islands and they're doing some even beyond that now. Well, I want to say just from our organization that the city is a great partner because you partnered with us in our Paddle for Clean Water, which is an event we throw on in the fall, kind of the end of the summer, that brings awareness to clean water and how nice it is to paddle in clean water and how we actually help clean the water. But the city, I don't know if you know this, yes. gives us all the canoes. Yes. All the canoes that we use are donated by the city, the paddles and the and the PFDs. So you already make a great partner. It's great to hear that you're partnering with the, the county. Mm -hmm. And let me ask you this, now that we're stretching along our, our 52 linear miles, how is, this, how is this affecting tourism in Knoxville? Well, I think the Outdoor Knoxville Adventure Center is a great perspective on that to show. I mean, we had that opening in February, and um, water was a huge part of that, um, mm -hmm. tourism um, and, the, and the draw to the area. And we had the state commissioner come, and she explained how much uh, money is brought um, just by park uh, recreation tourism. And it's one of the biggest um, tourism factors in Tennessee. Is Where, the water? Well, recreation in, in the general. Outdoor. Yeah. Yeah. But um, luckily, our water is our, our city is centralized around the water, and so um, we're lucky enough to have that. And I mean, Vol Navy is a perfect example of. Um, some great tourism dollars that come in. Well, appreciators. Thank, sure, certainly <laughs> thank you to the, the Vols themselves, but the Vol Navy is certainly a nice aspect. We were actually featured, I don't know if you know, in um, a Southern Living um, SEC cookbook. And Did you know that? No, I didn't you know, didn't know that. Know, yes. Okay, so what was the recipe? Um, there were several, but they did a, a specific chili for each SEC school. And oh. um, uh, But Knoxville was featured, they showed the Greenway, and they showed the Vol Navy. So, you're a tourist, that you're a water specialist, analyst, you love the water and you come to Knoxville. What have we done recently to help somebody who wants to get on the water navigate? We, um, Knoxville Parks and Recreation, um, just did a Blue Ways map and we did that in partnering with Knox County and um, River Sports helped out a lot in Patagonia and Fort Loudon Lake Association. And it's just your perfect guide. You can get a free copy of a Blue Waste map by calling 311. They'll mail it to your house for free. Oh, and you one from your cell phone? Yes. And you just can. say, I want a Blue Waste map? Yes. So can you be out in the lake and need a Blue Waste map? Well, it, it's, snail snail mail. Mail. Oh. it's snail mail. It's snail mail. But um, we do have another project that spun off from that. Now that we have that mapping system, we have started um, a Blue Waste signage oh. project. And... Um, that is really an effort to help any, any water enthusiast. So say you're out on the water and you see a put-in takeout or you're leaving on a put-in takeout. You get to plan your trip because we have a Blue Ways map. We have it all online now. And you can even scan the sign that we're putting in at each put-in takeout, takeout. And uh, there's a QR code there. And you can scan that and your phone will automatically pull up this map. So the image that we're looking at right now is actually me, yours truly, and uh, Madeline at the day that you unveiled the very first Blue Ways uh, signage. Yes. So and Ma Mayor O'Hara, was I have to tell you, she was so excited about this event. Um, that day she was calling around and making sure, like, you're going to be on the water, you're going to be on the water, because this, this is something I really want to make a big deal about. So um, she herself, I know that during her campaign she did the paddling for Madeline. Yeah, she's a water enthusiast for yes. sure. Yeah, and an outdoor doorsy person. I would call Certainly, her that. I mean, I mean, she's been so excited about greenways and blueways, and um, just she's wanted to know about walking programs so that she could go do them herself. And and the same with our our canoe tour. She's so excited to take groups and show off our city from the water. So it sounds like from the city's perspective that we really are a river city. And I'm curious now that we've uh, we've stepped up our game and now we can have signage on the river, which I absolutely love. We are navigable, which makes us different from just a regular lake or a stream. I mean, that means big ships and barges come up mm -hmm. and down and, and deliver things commercially, but also recreationally now, you can't get lost on our river. Right. Well, and I, that's something I want, there are specific details on this signage. I yeah. mean, there's an individual map on there that says you are here and it has the GPS code 
but it also tells the river mileage it is to the next put in takeout. Yeah, which is important. Both ways, <laughs> and it tells you which way is upstream and downstream because if you're not that familiar with the water and the wind's blowing, sometimes it's hard to tell if you're paddling. And well, and also, if you're not the greatest paddler in the world <laughs> like me, you need to know that one's one mile away and the other one's 10 miles away, right? right? So it right. really does help the recreational paddler mm -hmm. or even the professional paddler, yes, even and the fisherman. Right. And most um, smartphones nowadays have the, G you can get an app, your GPS, and um, so it gives those GPS coordinates and you can plug it in and it'll let you know how close you are. So you're kind of paddling, you know, it's kind of help helpful. Like when you're on the elliptical, you know, it does the countdown. It's the mm -hmm. same kind of thing. So we stepped up our game that much to really show the rest of the nation that Knoxville is acknowledging that we're built on a river and that it's clean. And it's one of our biggest assets. It is. It really is. It draws people in here. It's, it's true. Um, and uh, that being said, we do have um, um, a need to get more signs. And we are going to Knoxville Parks and Recreation. And I think it sounds like Knox County's in, on board with this project, but we're going to start um, soliciting sponsors for the signage because we do want to have a sign at every single put in take out and make, make our city um, that much easier to navigate. So we've actually given two ways you can help as listeners. You can actually sponsor a sign, kind of like you sponsor roads, yes. right? You can also donate to the Fort Loudon Lake Association and keep the river clean so we can continue to have a nice, clean, navigable, safe river. And you can volunteer, I'm sure, for the city and for, yes. for us, and for the Paddle for Clean Water. And oh, we have Adopt-A-Park programs, so it would be great. Same, um, almost all of our parks, all of our parks, in fact, that have a put in takeout could be adopted. So. Wow, okay. there's so many ways for Knoxvillians and our surrounding neighbors to get involved and mm -hmm. to really be a part of our city growing as a river city. Yeah, and I mean, it's no joke that we are the volunteers. It really hasn't changed since we are in the name because we really do have a great uh, group. Um, the Appalachian Mountain Bike Club, they volunteer and they build the trails for free for the city. Um, wow. Yeah, so a lot of the trails you see along the water have been built free by the Appalachian Mountain Bike Club. So how do we get in touch with you or how is somebody wanting to volunteer or buy a sign? How do they get in touch with you? 311. They oh, can call 311. How fast is that? How easy is One that? number, one call. And um, uh, they, uh, they'll, they'll put us through to us or they'll put, us, uh, put the caller through to somebody else that can, they can help. So. That's wonderful. And you yeah. can reach us at Fort Lau or FLLAKE.org. You can volunteer, you can become a member and help keep our lake clean. So Kathleen, thank you so much. Sure. You have been a great, great asset to our river. Thank you. Oh, no. And to our show. Thank oh, you thank so you. much. See you all next week.